This is a tutorial on how to create subdivision searches with your IDX Broker Platinum account. To begin with, you need a list of subdivisions within a particular city. So here we have a list. It's rather a large list. But you can start with a smaller list if you want. And there's going to be a couple of different ways that we can do this. So the first way is to log into your IDX Broker. Go to Preferences and you want to go to Create and you want to choose your advanced search page. Now prior to doing this you want to come into your preferences and you want to actually you want to go to designs. Now prior to doing this you want to go to designs pages and under advanced search you want to edit the fields that are displayed. So it's very important to make sure that in your MLS the field that has to do with the subdivision is available so that you can use it. And you could have it as wild text, you can have it as a list, you can have it as text. In this case, I'm going to change it to list just so that I can choose specific subdivisions. And I'm going to make sure it's all tidied up and apply. Now, if you don't want to use this list and you want to go ahead and leave it to wildcard, you can keep it on for the duration of making the link and then go back and turn it back to wild text so that people can just search by name by typing in the name which may be a little bit easier because if there are for instance let's say we have a subdivision named Antioch Park and there's no listings in this subdivision currently then this will not show up in the list on your site or in when you're creating the link. So that is going to possibly cause problems depending on how many subdivisions you have and which ones do or do not have listings. But I'll come back to that in a minute. So I've added the list. I'm going to save it. Wait for my little green box to pop up confirming I've saved it. And then I'm going to go back to my save links. And so I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. So updates, choose the advanced search and hit next step. Now because all of these communities are in Brentwood, I'm going to go ahead and choose Brentwood under the city section. Then I'm going to come down here and individually, using my list, I'm going to go down the list and choose each one of these. So Annandale, Arden Woods, Beach Creek, I'm just going to pretend like right now those are, it just has three of them. So here we have Annandale. And if you want, you can choose all of them. Arden Woods. And you're going to hold your control key down while selecting these. And Beach Creek. So, again, assuming you've chosen all the subdivisions that you want in here, you can come down to the bottom and next step you can give this title page a title and let's say I'm doing all subdivisions just for the heck of it but I usually name mine Brentwood TN homes for sale in and then give it a descriptive ending and I'll paste it here and then I'll come down here and paste it highlight it center it and turn it into a heading one and then I'll save. So now this is going to have a link that is going to show all the subdivisions that I've chosen. Once you've created this link, there's another way that you can also go and do this, and that is to create a manual link. It's called a build and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and go to create and build link copy and paste and I'm going to hit next step and it's going to ask me for the result page URL so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the site and I'm going to go ahead and go to advanced search <clears throat> I'm going to choose Brentwood again and then I'm going to go ahead and choose a couple of subdivisions I'm going to choose ones that are without numbers because that could confuse you so I want to make sure that this is clear actually we'll choose two that we know are subdivisions 
we'll choose Annandale. and Ardenwood. Okay. Now if you want to test it before you do it, go ahead and hit the, the you can hit the search key, it'll start. And now you have your search. And what you have up here is a list that is going to be the search string. So you could copy this and you could go to the advanced field man manager. But in this case, we only wanted to use this as our beginning start to show you how to create a build and copy list. So and this is where it's going to come in where you have subdivisions that are not listed in that drop down because they don't have listings. So take this and you're going to go ahead and open up a new Word document and paste it in there. Now the main thing to remember is that you have this little search string right here up to the ampersand. This is your main Import, most important part that you need to pay attention to and you'll notice where the ampersand is uh, right after it you have another one that's exactly the same so what this is is in the beginning it's telling this is search string is telling the IDX what to pull and it tells it by the city name and the city has a code um, it gives it different parameters but the main one we want is the subdivision so what we're going to do is you can take this one or you can take this one whatever one it is and we're gonna go ahead and copy it all the way up to the ampersand and we're gonna paste it down here now I'm gonna take my list and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out Arden Woods notice they put a plus symbol in between words with spaces and I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to actually grab my list first I'm going to take it out of bullet list format and now I'm going to go ahead and copy this string in front of every single one of these Okay, now that I have that done, everywhere there's a space, I'm going to put a plus symbol. Delete the space, put a plus. Okay, so now I have my list and I've replaced all of the spaces with plus signs. They're all in here. And the next step is to add it to the top of the search string. So I'm going to take out Arden Woods and Annandale because I already have them. And I am going to use an ampersand in between each string. Hit my delete key till it comes up. And then ampersand, delete, ampersand, oops, ampersand, delete. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have everything done. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and created the entire string with all of the subdivisions in it. You need to double check your work, make sure there are no spaces in this. So this is very important. It will stop wherever there's a space and it will not work. So select all, copy, and then go ahead and go to your link and paste it in there. And so now you have your full link. And next step, and you can save. So you can use that when creating a link for one subdivision. Let's say you just want Annandale. Oops, see I noticed I have a problem right there. I have a double ampersand and that shouldn't be there. The original one
and there's another one right there. So I need to go back and correct that link. And update it. Now, if you want to create an individual search, you can do the same thing by going to Advanced Search, Next Step, choosing Brentwood, and then choosing the subdivision name, or go to your search and create a search for any subdivision. It doesn't matter what it is, just create the search. And then where it says subdivision equals, take the name of the subdivision, let's say it's Williams Grove, and put it in there. Make sure you put a plus symbol where there are any spaces, and you can use that as your build and copy. Now what do you do if there is a symbol in the name, like maybe a, a an ampersand, or maybe there is a parentheses or something, it could be anything, uh, apostrophe, so any of those things. Um, the easiest way to do that is to go to your website and find a subdivision that has something like that in it. Here's one with the ampersand. Hit search. And you can see that it replaced the ampersand with percent 26. So you know ampersand equals percent 26 in that search string. And anything that has an ampersand, you're going to replace it with percent 26. So that's how you're going to create some subdivision saved searches and a couple different ways that you can do them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my site, yoursiteneedsme.com for more helpful information and videos.